With Picarina at his side, Kutaro hopped astride the newly emancipated Mr. Pink and raced up. Hold on! Dark clouds hung heavy over the Black Castle as General Dragon hurtled home as fast as he could. Mr. Pink skimmed along the dragon's back as Kutaro held on tight. I suppose now would be a good time to lay down the facts. Well, there's nothing to lay them on, but metaphorically speaking, you see, I'm primarily an academic. I look after a big clock for a living. Ah! Oh, man, if I knew spicy food would shut him up, I would have ordered some buffalo wings hours ago. Dashingly, Mr. Pink leapt over Dragon's blade-like fin. Ah! Boats of lightning struck and missed. Storm cloud and shot in vain. Nothing could stop them as they raced up the writhing dragon's back to the heavens. Use the balloon to jump! Mr. Pink flapped so hard, his wings looked ready to snap. Whence came this passion? Was it rage toward the Moonbear King for using him as a clock hand? Was it a sense of justice, a need to undo his mistakes? Well, it's damnable bad luck is what it is. What do you mean, my mistakes? I'm not the one who broke the clock. Besides, the warranty ran out ages ago. That's right! Damn the lightning death that was raining down on him. Mr. Pink was determined to set things right. Yeah, that's not what I said. Don't fabricate stories. Sinister prize in tow. Hurry, Soon he would deliver all these children to his master. Say hurry like I'm not already hurrying, which I am, by the way, but I have a flamingo in case you haven't nothing. Flamingo power! <laughs> Mr. Pink's body coarse with the hot, holy justice of Capsaicin. Bird's heart and muscles swell with new purpose after every massive peppery kick. Ah! Oh, my heart! A cyclone tossed Kutaro into the path of lightning and rain, but these and more he cut in twain. Either the clock tower disaster or General Dragon's own power had triggered a great cataclysm. Volcanoes exploded in a salvo of magma destruction as fireballs rained down from above. Tons of death! It's coming! Kutaro picked up speed, bounded along the balloons, and right through the eruption. Don't I get any credit? Our hero sliced through rain and dodged bolts of lightning as he tamed the vicious storm. Dragon's trunk was coiled around the clouds like a snake's. Meanwhile, the volcanoes had taken things up a notch. Fiery boulders smashed apart the clouds. It seemed as though General Dragon's body stretched on forever. How are we going to catch him with all this junk in the way? Eruption had grown so intense, it seemed the whole sky might soon be snuffed out. 